Hi guys, welcome to the Killian family homestead. Let's do a quick shot of the entrance of hive number one. Lots of activity today. It's beautiful and sunny. I'm actually blocking the sun a little bit, so I'm purposely making it a shade so you can see it better. But uh, it's near the end of the foraging day, and so the forager bees have pollen baskets full and nectar full of nectar coming back to deposit it give it to the receiver bee and the receiver bee will go and deposit the nectar into the different cells they can, they really can't transfer pollen so the, those that come back with pollen baskets full they actually walk up to a pollen frame and, and they will scrape it clean in the cell you can see a lot of those bees coming back have their legs have a yellow or white attachments to it and that's just their pollen baskets that are full. I've closed the entrance a little bit because boardman feeders tend to create a little bit of robbing so I wanted them to have just enough room to freely go back and forth but not have to defend the whole entrance. They can just, you see the bees out in front here, those are the guard bees. Those bees that are not flying away, have no intention of flying away. They're just pacing back and forth, just like a guard does, to make sure that no other bee from a different colony, or any other insect for that matter, comes and tries to steal the sugar water, or the nectar that's in there, or the capped honey, or anything like that. This year I'm going to try to do a lot of observing so that I can get some footage of you know, different things that happen. So this is hive number one. There's hive number two. That nuke box is empty because I used that nuke box to fill in this one. Hive number three is my newest hive and I have the entrance reducer. Whoa! Youch! I'll just take, take it back. I must have outstayed my welcome. <laughs> Ouch. Okay. Um, but this is hive number two. And I bought it. It was, an, it was a five frame nuke mated queen inside. There was a two frames of honey, two frames of brood, and a fifth frame that was empty um, with maybe a little bit of pollen on it. But the entrance reducer makes sure that they are established and that they feel secure and they don't get robbed out. But they have quite a few bees and I was really impressed by the person that sold this to me, a Russian fellow uh, or Ukrainian. I don't know. I can't tell the dialect difference but or the accent difference. But um, he truly did give me a very healthy hive with a very good looking queen in there. So it's good to get some new genetics. And there was lots of drones in this one, which is exactly what I need because hive number five, why I call it five is one, two, this is the third space, fourth space, fifth space. That platform over here, if I put one, will be number six. The platform over here will be number zero. <laughs> but anyways, um, I checked this hive just yesterday and I'll do I'll show you guys as well someday uh, a, a stubby little emergency queen has hatched out and she is going around being fed and taken care of and uh, one of these days within the first three weeks of her hatching she will go out for her um, mating flight and I'm guessing that th there's just tons of drones drone cells in yeah. that right now so they're preparing for her mating flight but there's also mature drones in here, which will, I'm sure, mate with her. And as she comes out, the drones will, will also fly around if they haven't already and try to keep up with her and, and we'll get some genetic diversity going on. So thanks for watching, guys. Just wanted to give you an update on the apiary. Take care.